Welcome to the warm-up brought to you by Community Sports and Therapy. I'm Mark Kutz as we are in Salina to talk with the Bulldogs. Matt Finkel will be joining us in a little bit, but we begin with the Salina head coach, Trent Temple. And coach, coming off of a 5-5 five five campaign that very easily could have been perhaps 8-2, and 7-3. and three. Some close losses last year. Did you learn from those losses? Is that something that you're going to apply to this upcoming year? Well, no, no. I mean, we learned that we don't like them. That's about <laughs> the only thing we learned. I, I thought, uh, you know, there were some situations where we could have done some things better, and uh, you know, and we didn't do that. And you know, so that's why we lost those games. A defense first philosophy at the line the last couple of years. How's the defense looking this year? Uh, we're young. Defensively, we're y real young. We're going to probably have uh, two or three sophomores starting, um, and maybe one freshman starting. So, you know, defense has kind of flipped. Um, you know, last couple of years we've been really good. I thought defensively. I think this year, uh, with the progression of the offense, you know, our, our offense is going to have to kind of lead the way for our defense. What are some of the individuals offensively you're looking to lead the way? Well, you know, it starts up front. We got Mitch Mabry uh, playing our tackle position. Zach Rieger playing our guard position. Um, you know, it starts with those two. Um, they're two captains, and uh, you know they've done a nice job of getting themselves in position. You know, doing the things in the off season, getting stronger, getting faster. Um, then obviously, then it starts with our quarterbacks. You know, quarterback play. Who is that quarterback this year? For uh, you? Caleb Hoyne. You know, he's a three-year starter, so we expect some good things out of him. Um, you know, especially after. You know, I don't know. I wouldn't consider it a, a disappointing last year, but I would consider it a. Uh, you know, a, a year where our offense. Um, is not living up to or did not do what it's done in the past. You know, and some of that was because of the offensive line. We were so young there, um, and, and they've matured over this offseason, and uh, we've really focused on that, um, you know, at least this camp, uh, getting better at the offensive line position. Offensive line, one of the strengths. You're looking at Caleb Hoying as another one of the strengths. What do you need to work on the most offensively right now? Well, just running the football. Yeah. You know, being being physical on offense. Uh, you know, a lot of times you, know, you look at that spread and people think, well, you can't be physical. It's more of a finesse offense, and we're trying to set that mindset, uh, that mentality. Hey, listen, we're going to uh, be physical out of the spread. Yeah, I think one thing people don't necessarily understand about the spread, and particularly the Urban Meyer form of the spread, is it's not only spreading you up and down the fields, across the field as well. And as you spread a team out sideline to sideline, that can open up for the physical play inside. Then, uh, you know, absolutely. You know, we, a lot of times you look at teams, they they spread you out to run the football. Um, you know, or they, they bring everybody inside the, inside the box to throw the ball. You know, our, our philosophy, or at least our goal this year has been, hey, listen, we're going to uh, make teams stop the run to open up our passing game, which obviously is going to help our quarterback. It's going to help our receivers. Um, but uh, we, have to, we have to force teams to do that. They're just not going to do it on their own. How's um, camp gone so far? Yeah, you know, real good. I, you know, uh, kids are working hard. It, it, uh, it, it's, it's funny that you say that because, you know, um, you know, this year we've, we've changed our or the way we're, we've done camp, mm -hmm. and um, it's uh, you know usually you find yourself during sometime during camp it kind of drags out a little bit. I, we haven't had that this year. It's been uh, it's always been upbeat. Our seniors have done a great job of taking the leadership role of being leaders um, all day long during camp, and uh, you know it's it's actually been one of those deals where it's like wow that went quick. <laughs> um, and usually that's not the case. You know you get you know, get to the first week of two days, it kind of getting that grind. Uh, where uh, this year it's been kind of just the opposite. You know we've. Uh, you know, we spent and we focused so much on our offensive line this year that uh, that time has really went quicker than I thought. You said camp has changed. Has it been a mental approach has changed, or have you actually gone back and maybe changed the, the structure of practice a little bit? I think both. You know, um, you know, it starts with your seniors. This that mental, mental attitude of uh, being positive and, and being leaders and, and getting guy, other guys focused on what we're doing. I, it starts with them, and then the structure of the practice itself. Um, We've uh, we've changed some uh, time slots on how we do things and, and uh, just the the regiment of doing things. Um, it's more, if you will, more disciplined. I guess is, is really the word I'm looking for. Um, so everything's structured and uh, you know, it seems to go a lot quicker than than in the past. Week one open on the road at Versailles. What needs to get accomplished between now and that trip down to Whole Field? Well, we got to be able to, to run the ball. I mean. Um, you know, I don't think we're going to have any problems throwing it with Caleb. I mean, mm -hmm. obviously everybody knows about Caleb, um, and uh, he's worked hard to get where he's at. Uh, but uh, for us, you know, to be successful, we have to run the football, and that starts with our offensive line. And, and they're getting better every day. We film every practice, or at least we started filming every practice, and we're watching film with those guys every day to see and what they need to improve on. And 
each day you can see it slowly getting better and getting better and obviously we'll find out tomorrow night with our first scrimmage. How's the depth on both sides of the ball look? No, right we're now? not very deep. <laughs> you know, we're paper thin. Uh, you know, it's one of those things that uh, we've got guys. You know, and, uh, as, if we get a starter hurt, that's gonna that's gonna be a major blow for us. But uh, we tell them that they can't get hurt. So hey, that's how it goes. You know. Uh, so, but uh, we, we're not very deep. With having a little concern there, did you have to put an extra emphasis on conditioning in the off season then? Now, we've always been a very conditioned mm -hmm. team. I mean, our guys take that stuff serious. When we, when we go out to do what, whatever we're doing, if we're running or, or lifting, we always emphasize that conditioning part. And our, our guys have never really, I don't think, I've never seen it, uh, been out of shape when it comes to games. As a matter of fact, it's always uh, been the opposite, where we're always the guy or the team that's, that's you know, in that fourth quarter, we're not tired, not really you know, last year it really showed in the uh, Versailles scrimmage. You know, that was a you know zero zero ball game going into the, you know, into that third quarter. Then we 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 scoop a, a, a you know a fumble up and run it for a touchdown, and you can kind of see we started to wear them out a little bit. Uh, you know, so we've always been a very well conditioned football team. As we taped this, we're about two weeks into training camp. Uh, one of the big stories in the off season from the, the state perspective was changing the rules on hitting. Has that affected what you've done so far? Obviously, having a concern about injuries, you might want to have been light on the hitting to begin with. Yeah, you know, I, I, I saw that, and, you know, it, it, I don't think there's a school out there anymore that does that much contact. Uh, you know, I think, you know, um, just from what, even from where I've been at, you know, the last 10 years, that's really changed. Mm -hmm. We don't we don't hit very often. You know, today, you know, today for example, we're just we're in shoulders and, uh, help, you know, helmets. So we're just... We don't go full pads very, you know, that much anymore. We don't have that much contact because you're too worried about getting someone injured. You know, you know, they get injured in a game. That's a different story. But right. if you get injured in practice, you know, that's the last place you want to, uh, someone to get injured. Obviously, you don't want to get injured at all, but you definitely don't want to get someone hurt in practice because you're going live or, or you're going full go all the time. We just, you know, we just have never really been. Um, you know, we've never really had a philosophy where we go live that much to begin with. And, and at most, maybe it's ten plays, and that's it. So you, we, we don't have to worry too much about that, uh, you know, that time restraints that you have on um, going live. You go live in the Western Buckeye League in week two, home for Elida, traveling to Bath, back home for OG and Defiance, then at Wapakoneta out of St. Mary's, at Van Wert Shawnee, and then finally wrapping up the WBL schedule home for Kenton. Western Buckeye League, always tough. And it looks like this year the league might be even more wide open than the last few years. Yeah, I, I think so. But, I mean, you have to look at, you know, it's, it's really kind of funny because uh, I was talking to, I don't even remember who I was talking to the other day. Um, there's a team out there that you know went three and seven last year easily could have been five and five if they're five and five everybody's talking about them because they're three and seven nobody's talking about them and they bring everybody back except for two guys and, and that's van work i right. mean they got a four by one team that was in columbus in, in their in their relay their four by two team was in columbus with their relay i even think their four by four team was there mm -hmm. so they've got speed all over the field they probably have a division two or division one tackle uh you know offensive defensive tackle um, so, you know, to me, I don't, I don't think it's close. I think Van Wert by far is a team that, uh, you know, um, right now on paper um, is a team that uh, everybody's trying to beat. Um, you know, and obviously there's a lot of things that have to happen. You know, they got to win those games and that stuff. But, you know, when you look at that and you look how much speed they have, they're, they're definitely a team that's I think is above everybody else right now. All right. Thank you very much, Trent Temple, head coach for the Salina Bulldogs. We're going to take a break. On the warmer, presented by Community Sports and Therapy. When we return, Matt Finkel sits down with some Bulldog players here on WOSN. Welcome back to the warm-up presented by Community Sports and Therapy. Continuing from Salina, joined by a couple of Bulldog seniors. Mitchell Mabry to my right, right tackle defensive end. On the end there, it's Zach Marks, wide receiver, linebacker. Mitchell, let's start with you. How's camp going? Really good. Things are going great. We're working hard. Just out here having fun. Coach mentioned that there are some changes from last year to this year in terms of camp and the schedule. Have you noticed them, and have, it made a dif have they made a difference? Oh, yeah. I mean, things are a lot more strict, but we're having a lot of fun also. I mean, things are going really great. Work going smoothly. Zach, what about for you? How's camp going about two weeks in? Is the team where you want them to be right now? Uh, I don't think we're exactly where we want to be, but we're getting there, and it's a lot of high intensity. Mitchell, what's an area you'd like to see Salina improve upon between now and week one and use these three scrimmages that you have coming up? Uh, I mean, offensive line. We've been working hard. I mean, Coach Nepple has a lot of faith in our line, and we have a lot of faith in him, so we'll just go out try to work on it and get it done. 
Zach, what's this team's biggest strength right now? Um, our secondary is our, it's very strong. Our linebackers are very good. It's probably part of the, one of the only strengths. Yeah, let, let's talk about the defense a little because defense has been a staple of the Salina program. How do you see the defense progressing in camp right now? Because Coach mentioned it's a little younger than in years past. Yeah, I mean, we had some learning to do to start off with, but, you know, we're starting to get the fundamentals down. I mean, the younger kids are starting to learn, you know, how Salina football is, and things are stepping up, you know. Doing good. Zach, you got a scrimmage coming up. I think it's tomorrow. So what are you looking forward to about taking on some other competition? Uh, just hitting somebody else other than our own teammates is definitely going to be fun, and seeing how we compete against another team is going to be nice to see. And then that big opener against first sales. Rivalry game, you got the best of them last year. What do you need to do to, to beat the Tigers this season? I mean, we just got to go out and be physical. That's our game plan. We want to physically wear them out, and that's our goal. And then no rest, Zach, right into WBL play. What does it mean to you to play in the Western Buckeye League where, especially this season, it kind of feels like it's anyone's league to take? Uh, it's, it's kind of fun not having a week where you can take it easy. You have to go hard every week, and every week's a competition. Well, good luck to you guys this season. Thanks for letting us come out and talk about the 2015 Salina Bulldogs campaign. We'll do more of that after the break here on the warm-up presented by Community Sports and Therapy. Third and final down on the warm-up brought to you by Community Sports and Therapy from Salina. A couple more seniors. To my right, it is quarterback Caleb Hoyne, and on the end, it's Zach Rieger, guard defensive end. Caleb, let's start with you. Three-year starter, lots of experience coming into your senior year. How has the previous two years starting at quarterback prepared you for your senior season? It's prepared me a bunch. I mean, I've learned a lot since, since becoming the starter, and I've also developed my game to be more of a uh, more of a threat. Zach, how'd the summer go for Salina? Uh, we did really good in the weight room, and uh, Coach Nipple's getting us to work hard, and especially the offense line. Have you seen that work pay off already two weeks into camp? Yeah, it's paid off a lot. Caleb, what's an area that you would like to see the team improve upon between now and when you take the field for real? Because there's still plenty of work to be done, I'm sure, between now and, and the couple weeks you have before week one. Oh, well, we hope that we can develop our run game so that just snowballs into other things that we can do on the offensive side. Zach, Coach mentioned that this team doesn't have a ton of depth. How does that affect you in practice and during the games knowing that, you know, they're relying on you and you guys can't really falter or get hurt? It's just we've got to work hard. We've got to just not try to hurt others and just – Keep working hard. <laughs> Keep working hard together, yeah. Caleb, how have the seniors come together as a unit to lead this year? Sometimes it's a transition from junior to senior year. You've probably been leading for a while, though. But how have you seen the group come together? Oh uh, Well, we've been playing together for a few years now, and we're all really close and tight. So, I mean, we know each other. We know how we act, and we just we all lead in different ways. But it's a, it's a good thing because then we don't have one specific leader going. Right, a lot of different people working together. Zach, what would you say the goals for this year's team are? I would say definitely uh, start week one, get a win, and then uh, end up beating St. Mary's. St. Mary's is the last big, year, yeah. big rivalry game. Is that yeah. a game you're looking forward to as well, Caleb? Yeah. All right, well, good luck to you guys this season. Thanks for letting us come out to practice. That's going to do it for this edition of the warm-up presented by Community Sports and Therapy. We'd like to thank, thank all of our guests. For Mark Kuntz, I'm Matt Finkel. We'll see you next time on the West Ohio Sports Network.